A couple weeks ago, I told you all that my dad was moving to South Carolina. And so, uh, yesterday, they drove to South Carolina and they closed on the house. And they came back last night. He said they got back at about nine o'clock last night. And so he's tired. But uh, they had a woman come and pack their whole house and i mean they've got a lot of stuff in their house but they um they had a woman come and pack their whole house so they didn't have to pack anything but the movers are out here right now so they have two moving trucks and they're uh, getting everything onto the trucks and then they'll drive down to uh, they'll drive to south carolina and then they'll spend the night in a hotel and they'll come back but um um, I think he said for the woman to pack, um, he said it was like $750, but now they've got a lot of stuff. And he said she did not overcrowd the boxes. He said she made them light enough to did where you could pick them Did that include the boxes? Up. Yes, she brought her own boxes. So 700, and I said, well, do you think it was worth it? And he said, it was worth $1,200 <laughs> because they didn't have to pack one thing. Um, now for him to move from Kentucky to South Carolina, I think it's gonna be like $7,500. Um, and that is actually a really, really good price because another company, he had a, a couple of companies give him quotes. Another Another company quoted him it was gonna be like a little over ten thousand dollars so seventy five hundred dollars is not bad at all for well, them you probably got three guys two trucks four. there's four, four guys, guys two, two trucks, trucks spending the night somewhere uh -huh. that's actually not bad well he he um and and they showed up with only one truck and then they ended up uh dad said that's not gonna work he said we're gonna need two trucks so they they've got two trucks now so uh but they're out there right now and he he called me and he told me he said when we leave kentucky he said this is it we won't be back he said we won't have because he see he had told me before he said that they were would come back and sign papers and stuff like that for when his house sells and his house is not even on the market yet because they want to paint the whole interior which truthfully does it need it probably not but he wants it to look you know sell for the best it can sell for so they haven't even put it on the market yet so they're going to have it painted probably tomorrow over the weekend and then they'll put it off on put it on the market but he said we don't even have to come back to kentucky when we sell the house he said we can sign virtually so um i told kevin i said we we need to get out here and i want to see him before he leaves because once they get these trucks backed up he's going to be ready to hit the road that's just that's his personality you know he's going to be ready to go and get it over with that drive over with so we're going to come out here and um i'll probably um probably show you the outside of the house since he's moving <laughs> his old house yeah not his new house in south carolina his old house um it's a really nice house um and by the time i'm gonna hang on to this video so um he will have already sold this house to someone new by the time i post this video because i don't want to put this video up while his house is on the market now his house is not on the market right now because he's going to have the inside of it repainted. So we're entering Stony Brook. That's the name of his um, subdivision is Stony Brook. And his house is the one with the American flag coming up here. And uh, so he, uh, the house he's gonna have it, this is his house right here in the front. He's going to have the whole inside of it repainted and uh, some work done in here, but I'll try to show you that as we walk through it. It's got a green tag in there. Yeah. And it says, this house is currently vacant. Do not put mail in this box. Okay, well then we'll tell him that. Okay, so uh, this is his driveway. And you'll notice when we come back here, it's really, really cold. So I'm gonna try not to spend much time out here. But he has uh, the whole, the whole yard is fenced in. It's really nice. So this is a building that he had. Um, 
put back here and it has a lot of storage area in here and let me get closer so that you can really see better he put in a fire pit back here so now when he was living here they had adirondack chairs all around this fire pit back there in uh way back is a bocce ball court so it's uh it has lights and everything for them to play bocce ball and this is his back porch that he just uh he recently i mean they have not had this back porch on here long at all this was the house when he first moved in it just had a screened in back porch uh, it looks totally different and uh then i mean there wasn't much of a porch to the to the place at all uh and then in the next picture you're gonna see there's like uh, uh here's more of the back porch there is no fence you can see that no fence whatsoever in the backyard lots of bushes here's another view during the summer of the back porch with the chairs and th th this is just one that i stole <laughs> off of facebook you can see the building in the background that he has and then this is now you can see where they had uh, done improvements to that back porch they had taken the screens out of the windows and they had put in actual windows and this is them building a big new addition he bought this stained glass window um i think it came out of a restaurant i'm thinking or an old church and he had it framed and put out here on the back porch and this back porch when it has the furniture on it it looks like something out of better homes and gardens because it was full of of uh, couches and chairs and tables and he had built tables and i mean it was absolutely gorgeous and these curtains you can pull the curtains if you want um, uh, to keep the sun off of you um, this is his garage he has a two-car garage he um like i said they just moved i wonder if he wants that sign off the gate because that actually has his name on it and nobody else will need that I, do you have something to where you can take that off and screw it let me see if he has something because that's nice and that literally it's only uh it only looks it only has two screws um they completely forgot about this little building and so the moving company um could not they the moving company brought over two trucks and they could not fit everything on the two trucks like they thought they would and yeah i'm sure he wants that and so they are going to be coming over tomorrow to get one more truck and they're going to drive that one more truck down to south carolina but uh we'll um we'll go in the house and i'll try to show you around but this is what it looks like up under the porch and they did a wonderful wonderful job with it but when he moved here this porch of course that building wasn't back there the bocce ball court back wasn't back there the the it wasn't fenced in the yard was not fenced in all these yards around him are just like open and so um he had this uh fence put in um but this back porch they redid it so when we go inside i'll be able to show that to you so it looks like this is a table that was on that porch and he, he left his tv on he always 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 has the t this tv going and so it, this is quite a bit i still think this will fill up a truck dad said they were supposed to put everything neatly on that side of the garage um hello they like the whole garage is full of stuff so you know what even if jerry wanted to come over here and paint he'd have a time getting in the house so i won't be able to show you very well because <laughs> there's so much in here but he had the floor redone of this garage and i want to show you how funny he is because he's just a funny person you see this quarter on the floor that quarter is stuck with glue you cannot pull it up he did that to be funny because he's a funny person mm -hmm. and he wanted people to come over and try to pick that quarter up because that's the way he is so this is the front door of the house and i do want you to know before i show you anything 
the house is going to be painted completely and cleaned. So you have to realize they just moved out of here and they didn't normally have this table in here. This is the living room. So when they first moved in, they had a couch in here and then they moved the couch and then they had a piano in here. And they have it, uh, it, they just moved. So anytime anybody moves, it's not going to be clean. Uh, it's going to have to be cleaned. So this is what it, uh, the living room looks like. And when he moved in here, he had these doors put in. Uh, because this bookshelf was just, they were open. And so he had the doors put, put on here. And they had books in here. It looked really pretty. And then this is the dining room. And let's see if I can turn the light on for you. Uh, no, their electricity, it's different. It, I can't, ah, there we go. Okay, there we go. I had to push on it. Okay, so I didn't know to push on it. So this is the dining room and it's a really pretty like orangey color. When they bought the house, it had wallpaper, and so it was really dark with the wallpaper, and then they ended up painting it orange. And But it, they had a great big table in here, plenty of room. And then this is the kitchen right here. Okay, so I'll show you this first. This is where their washer and dryer is. So this is the garage. You come in from the garage, and this is where their washer and dryer was. And then here is, I don't know if there's a, yeah. This is a um, pantry. huge pantry, yes. And there are shelves from the top to the bottom. And then over here, there's hooks to hang because you're coming in from the garage. There's, it's like a mud room. There's the hooks to hang your coats or bags or whatever in here. And so there is a lot of uh, room to put stuff. And then the kitchen, it looks huge because the kitchen is connected to like a, um, like a sitting area, a den area. Um, but he has um, this huge refrigerator. This is where he kept his computer and he left the chair here. Uh, but this was the computer. And then right in this area, he had a, um, was it a bar? Is that what you'd call it? Yeah, like a bar here but I'll show you what it looks like from this side so this is the kitchen and it's really nice I, I like the wood and everything um, we, this cabinet's open because we were looking through the cabinets to make sure they got everything this cabinet they forgot about it so I sent him a picture um, but this area is where he had he had a couch and he had a um, uh, like a bookshelf over here um, over here against the wall he had like a bar with alcohol in it uh, but this is a huge space in here and then this is the back porch so when Kevin when they first moved in here this back porch so they had screens on all the walls right so um it was that an outside porch really? yeah it was really an outside porch and now it's um it's it's a room yeah it's a room this is where uh, my dad's tv was his tv was back here and then his couch was here and uh, anytime we came over to visit him we were sitting right here on the couch and um then there were doors here. So there was like French doors right here and they took those off so that you could just walk right in and out. And I guess they got rid of those because I haven't seen them anywhere. Um, but see, this is the, that porch uh, that I showed you out back. And so all that furniture was out here. And you can see that building back there a little bit better. Um, but now, also, I'll take you through the house, uh, the rest of it. And there's a hallway here. So, there's the front door again. Check out the wallpaper they had when they moved in. 
and we went that way to go to the living room. There are two closets here. One has a um, hot water heater and one's just a regular closet. Then they have another closet here for like cleaning supplies or whatever. And then this bathroom, they actually had this bathroom redone. So this floor in here is heated. And I do love this floor. I love the, um, it's like a metallic uh, color. I like, I like uh, that quite a bit. And they have this big mirror. They have this tub that you have to step into. And then the toilet is hidden behind the door. This is a heated towel rack, which you can see. And then this is a big, there's me in the mirror, but this is a big closet. So you can hang stuff up in here, but then also these drawers pull out. And those are nice. So they redid this and then um, this was Laura's office. So it's just a, it was a, just a bedroom, a bedroom she used as, as an office and a uh, big closet in here. And she, there was a bed in here and everything, but this was her office space. So we can see what her view was out the window. She had a really pretty view in the summer the trees were in bloom, it's real pretty. Um, and then this was another extra bedroom. This is the uh, the uh, beds that Dad sold to Kevin and I. And he sold us these twin beds and this dresser. This dresser is what's in our dining room uh, right now. And it's a good size. Now, this was where my dad kept his clothes. So they took the closet doors off, and they have these, um, like, curtains, I guess you call them. And... Uh, but it's a huge, I mean, that is a massive, massive closet. And so all my dad's stuff was in there. He, he would keep his hats and stuff like that up here. And then there's another closet here for like cleaning stuff. And then this was their bedroom. So um, they redid their closet in the bedroom. Um, they had a big king size bed in here. So this is actually an old picture. This was the bed he had when he moved out of this house. He got another bed after this. Um, but they left the TV. So the TV, because their new house came with a t TV. So they left this TV because it's already mounted on the wall. I think Kevin and I would like that too, one mounted on the wall. But then they redid this closet. So, so if you can see right here, this this room actually went back further. This was the old closet. They removed this one and made it big right behind this. But then they redid it to give Laura this closet. So this was her closet space. And I love this light fixture in here. She has a huge closet space. After walking through her now, I've come to a realization they didn't like doors. No, they didn't have they a lot took of doors. doors off a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's no door here. It's yep. just open. And then this was my dad's bathroom. And so it's just a regular, but I mean, it's a full bathroom. And it has a, a mirror and everything. Full size bathroom. There's a mirror behind that door. Behind the door? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, that's a picture. I bet you they forgot that picture. Yeah. So this, uh, this is their, this was their, was their house for what, 10 years? Cause we've lived in our house for 10 years. We bought our house from my dad. And so they lived here for 10 years. And if you're wondering about attic space, so when you come down the hallway, if you look up at the ceiling, when they get the house painted, they're gonna paint this as well. It has a uh, pull right there, and you pull this, and the stairs come down out of the attic, and you can climb up the stairs and, and uh, go right up into the attic that way. And it's a huge attic space up there that runs along this whole house. So it, it is a very large space. So we're back out at my dad's and this is how big the garage is. And the fans, the fans on in here, you definitely don't need the fan on because it's about 
35 degrees outside. But they did, somebody turn, yeah, the fan's on. But somebody did turn his TV off um, out here, which I would rather have it on. I liked it coming in here and seeing the westerns on. But you can see this is the, uh, the treatment that he got on his floor. I really couldn't show you before. Um, but it's, it's really, really nice. So this is the end of this video, but there are just pictures at the end. I, did, I could have, once they painted it, I could have walked through the house and filmed it all again. But the real estate, the pictures that they had up, the real estate company, were so good. And their, their lighting is so bright. And you can really see the new paint colors and everything that I decided, you know what, I'm going to take these pictures and I'm just going to use these pictures because you can just see the room so much better. So I also included, you know, they didn't paint the backyard, but I just wanted to go through the backyard again. This is another view of that building he has in the backyard. So dad put his house on the market and it pretty much immediately sold. He got asking price for it. There was no um no not even an offer made i mean it was like an offer for full price and you, so there was no back and forth or anything like that he um he was really fortunate that some he it's a very nice neighborhood and it's a popular neighborhood so houses don't go on the market for sale that often in this neighborhood and so when they do they're snatched up pretty quick they really don't last long so um he was just thrilled to death that he got full asking price uh but there's i showed you again there's the that wallpaper on that wall when you first came in the door i bet he even forgot what that wallpaper looked like and then here was the living room how they set it up when they first moved in and then um this is the living room without any furniture this was after he moved out and with the new paint colors um i think i put that picture in again i think yeah i think i've got that picture in there twice oops um this is what it looks like empty and the bookshelves i absolutely love those bookshelves and then this is that dining room i actually like the green dining room um the the wallpaper but it did make it darker and then this is how it looks nice and bright um, it has the light in it. It, it. it The paint color really brightened it up. And then here's the kitchen. And I really like the color of the cabinets. I know white cabinets are popular these days, but but I like the dark cabinets. We have dark cabinets in our kitchen. And it just, I, I think it looks really nice. And then this refrigerator is a beast. It is a super um, expensive, but really, really nice refrigerator as well. And see, you can see those doors in the back. Those used to go out to their back porch. Um, and this is where he had his TV when he first moved in. And then he, he took that out of this room completely. Um, that, uh, thing that the cabinet that the TV's sitting on, I bought that from him as well when he moved. And these couches, he ended up getting rid of those too. Um, because he got a new couch. I'm pretty sure he got rid of those. You could see how big this room is with no furniture in it. It's it's quite large. And then this is the back porch with no furniture at all. This is the one that they enclosed. This was that little screened-in back porch. And they enclosed it. They redid the floor. They painted. It um, had special drapes put up. This is the bathroom, and it was just your standard bathroom. It had two sinks. I believe it had two sinks. And then this is it, what, what it went to. And it looks like it's it's bigger than it was before. It's just um, how they redid the space in there. It just, to me, it makes it look bigger than it was. But the, I think they got heated floors in there and everything. So it was a really nice bathroom. And then this was Laura's office. And so I did not have any furnished pictures of her office. But uh, this is that extra bedroom that you saw earlier. And the beds that we bought. We have that lamp now. And there's the dresser. And that chair. We have that chair too. <laughs> I, I got a lot of things. And um, this is what it looks like completely empty. The floors are beautiful in the house. They really are. And then this was that old bed. This was actually um, his bed when he lived here. And then he bought a new bed. And once again, that closet, this is how it looked before. 
And then the new closet's just so bright. There's the bedroom with no furniture. It actually looks bigger with the furniture in it, I think. But he did leave that TV. And then this is his bathroom back in the back. They really didn't make any changes to that. All they did was paint. Nothing to be done. And then there is that closet. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed getting to see my dad's house. And we'll see you next time.